Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, after a mass shooting and a flurry of eviction notices, the hired manager of a Southside public, ho public housing complex went before the Indianapolis Housing Agency Board of Commissioners to answer questions today. Yeah. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid was there and visited the apartment complex. These are the Laurelwood Apartments. They are managed by a private company. They are owned by the Indianapolis Housing Agency, which is being taken over by HUD out of Washington. In effect, everybody's in charge and nobody's in charge. It was on the Laurelwood basketball court Sunday night that five people were shot. Residents tell us that some of the participants should have been evicted long ago. Though Laurelwood is public housing, it's run by Hayes Gibson Property Service, a private management firm. In the last month, residents have been hit with eviction letters claiming they owe $10,000 and more in back rent. Though they tell me Hayes Gibson admits its lease and rent records are so out of date, there's no accountability. Today, the CEO of Hayes Gibson made a stunning admission about occupancy rates at the IHA properties she's been hired to oversee. And no one at the head table of the IHA Board of Commissioners challenged her on the number of empty public housing apartments there are across the city. The average occupancy at the properties currently averages around 50%, with the exception of 16 Park, where we're closer to 60%. We do have health and safety issues on an ongoing basis. Hayes and Gibson was brought in a couple years ago when IHA's private investors felt the public agency wasn't managing the properties effectively. The Indianapolis Housing Agency had given you all this money. My question is, what is being done on our properties that the money what was given to Hayes and Gibson for our properties? One resident told me that Laurelwood living conditions are abysmal and Hayes Gibson is trying to evict neighbors over its bookkeeping errors. All of a sudden we now owe all this money and if we don't pay it, we're evicted. The management company, Hayes Gibson, doesn't want me to show you what has become of this apartment complex, which is, after all, paid for with your tax dollars, because the manager came out and told me that this public housing property was private property and I had to leave. At Laurelwood on the south side, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News. All right, Russ, thank you.